everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. You know, I meet thrifters everywhere I go and our conversation always leads to our best thrifty finds. There are so many thrifty finds in my home, I'm going to spare you the long list and give you the top three. For my first thrifty fave, I'm going to start out by saying that I've seen similar items like this piece in retail stores ranging in price from $250 up to $2,300. Someone please tell my husband that I saved us hundreds of dollars by buying this favorite for only $7.99. When I first purchased this chair from Goodwill, the fabric was gold, it's velour, but it, it was like a light gold, and the wood was dark brown, and there was just a little tiny flaw here in the cane. So what I did was I painted all of the wood white, and I just used some chalk paint, and then I let it dry a couple coats, and then I sanded it off with some lightweight sandpaper. And then for the fabric, I used chalk paint again, and I just put a little dab in a little plastic container with some water, stirred it around, really got it watered down, and then brushed a coat on, let it dry, and then again I used that soft sandpaper and just rubbed it on there and it gets all the crunchiness out of it. And then I did that for about four coats and you'll, well you can't feel it, but really it is really soft and that's all I did to it. It was really a simple project and um, it took me no time whatsoever. So here it is in my closet, my thrifty find, one of my top three faves. And um, it's sturdy, it's solid. I sit it on it nearly every day, trying to decide what I'm gonna wear, or even if I just wanna get away from what's going on at the rest of the house, you could find me right here, but don't tell anybody. And I just chill out in this little $7.99 beauty. Okay, let's move on to my next thrifty find. I'm in my kitchen and it's this John Boo's Maple Wood Round Butcher Block. When I was shopping the shelves at Goodwill, I spotted this block and I just put it in my shopping cart. I had never seen a butcher block like this, but I knew I had to bring it home. I could even barely hoist it into the shopping cart, it's so heavy. So I brought it home, I used a little bleach and some hot water to wipe it down, then I sanded it with some lightweight sand paper to clean it even better, and then I put a thin layer of food safe wood oil on it. And this block always stays on my counter and our family uses it daily. I wipe it regularly with wood oil and it is held up beautifully. And did I tell you after a stop at the John Boo's website, this board sells for no less than $150? Just a little tidbit I thought I'd throw out there. Now I'm in my family room at my coffee table for my best thrift find ever. It's this large hand carved wooden bowl. And as you can see, it is rather large and it weighs about three pounds. And let me flip it over so you can see the beautiful wood detail. The wood has a natural crack in it, but whoever patched it up with a piece of lightweight tin did a great job. It makes the piece even look more rustic and authentic. I've never seen anything like it before. Um, it's like the biggest walnut I've ever seen. Right now, I have um, some grapevine orbs, but this bowl has had many looks. I've layered uh, small rocks in there with driftwood sticks and faux succulents for a natural presentations, pumpkins in the fall, ornaments before the holidays, really anything looks good tucked inside. But it's so beautiful, it could stand alone, and I love that look too. I stopped by my Pinterest page, and under the large hand-carved wooden bowl, it's got a page all of its own. So, how much do you think I paid for this beauty? 300? I don't know, maybe you're thinking 150. Or 50? How about 14.99? Yes, that's it. I paid 14.99. Honestly, I would have paid more. But what a bargain for a decor piece that has brought me so much decor happiness. I don't even know if there's such a thing, but that's what I have. 
Thanks for hanging with me in my top three thrifty finds of all time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'd love to hear about your thrifty finds, so if you have some to share, please leave a comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye.